welcome back to DR Sports. We've got this morning's transfer headlines for you, so let's get into them. First and foremost, Chelsea striker Romelu Lukaku, 30 years old. He has rejected a second offer from Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal. Now, this deal was worth around 45 million euros, 39 million pounds per year. These are the reports that are coming out of Italy that he only wants to leave Chelsea for Inter Milan. The problem with that being is that, of course, Chelsea cause of FFP they need to get Lukaku off their books they spent a lot of money last summer and they've already had a lot of outgoings um, but it seems to be that the Belgian striker he is not looking to make that move to Saudi um, and it puts him in a little bit of a situation because at the moment can Inter Milan afford him that's the only place he wants to go they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place with what to do um, obviously he's not going to be in, in Maurizio Pochettino's plans in Chelsea's future plans um, and with him going out the door uh, who should be the striker that comes in at Chelsea? We know they've really struggled for goals, especially last season. Uh, failed to hit the target numerous, uh, numerous times. Um, and it looks to be the one that they're most interested in, in is Napoli's Osherman. But he is getting so much interest from all around the world. The only stumbling block is, of course, that mega price tag, which is looked to be north um, of around £150 million for the striker. Um, of course, he had an unbelievable season last year. We all know that he scores goals in just a variety of different ways um, he's big he's physical he's strong he's got an elite finishing quality um, and he would be perfect for Chelsea but the only issue is is that price tag of course we do know that Chelsea have notoriously struggled it's the curse of the number nine shirt um, it will be hard to break if it's not going to be Osherman who else do Chelsea fans want who do Chelsea bring in uh, to go up top for them of course they've already made a few movements in the window um, in terms of outgoings um, Nico Jackson has come in as well uh, on a 35 million pound deal but they're going to need something else in order to get them back to the level that they are at and that elite level uh, to be in the Champions League going forward and um, of course Maurizio Pochettino will want to bring in a striker to make sure they do that on the other hand, they are pushing for an agreement with Brighton over the signing of Moises Caicedo. Uh, he's 21 years old. I feel like he's literally linked with everybody and anybody at the moment. Uh, they've already agreed personal terms, according to Fabrizio Romano. So potentially it looks like that deal is going to be done any any minute, really. It's just getting for the agreement with uh, the amount of money that they uh, that Brighton want for Caicedo. Uh, turning to Tottenham, uh, they are looking uh, to maybe shift out Pierre-Emil Hoiberg. He's a target for Atletico Madrid. Uh, Spurs are prepared to sell him. He's 27 years old, of course, Denmark international. Um, I personally think as a Spurs fan, I would be open to that move. Um, you know, he, he does the dirty work well. Um, and I'd say he's one of the few leaders that Tottenham have had within their side. But I think that if you can if you can get a decent price for Hoiberg, that's that's absolutely fine for me. Of course, James Madison's just come in as well. Uh, Benton, Corb, Basuma, that would be my preferred three. Um, Ange Postacoglu tends to play a 4-3-3 formation. So for me, with a more progressive midfield, uh, more attack-minded, I think that's a better option than having Hoiberg. Uh, he came in uh, under Jose Mourinho actually he, he was there for, for that spell so um, that's one that could be on the way out England defender Eric Dyer, uh, his future is in question. He has one year left on his contract at Spurs. He's not signed an extension. He's 29 years old uh, and he wants to fight for his place under new Spurs boss Ange Postacoglu. Um, I think if Tottenham can get a fee for Eric Dyer, whatever that fee is, I think it is time to move on. We've seen him try and play as a centre-back under Jose and Antonio Conte. It just hasn't worked out in terms of the quality and the level that, that Tottenham need. Um, he's, he's not the answer. So, whether or not Daniel Levy will let him go on a free, it remains to be seen. There were rumours actually at the end of the season that they were going to be offering uh, Eric Dyer a contract extension. I assume that was in turn to then sell him on and get, and get some form of money for it. But I think that Tottenham desperately need centre-backs. This has been discussed week in, week out, show in, show out for, you know, God knows how many weeks. Um, and I think that that's, they, they need to shift the deadwood. So in a way, just try and get any fee you can for him. Similar to Harry Winks going to Leicester for around 10 million. I'd take 10 million for Eric Dyer. I think that would be an absolute steal. Uh, Carrie Kane. Um, we have not seen another bid from Bayern Munich yet. Apparently, they are proposing a more formal bid around the £70 million mark. 
I can't personally see him moving to Bayern. Apparently the player is open to it, open to talks. And I think that he is just trying to weigh up all his options before making a decision. United have since pulled themselves out of the race. Of course, they, they are in the midst of potentially being taken over by the Qataris. Would that change when the Qataris come in? Will they go back in for Kane? Um, but I do believe that unless it's around a hundred million pounds, I cannot see Daniel Levy parting ways with Harry Kane. Uh, and that will basically take him into the final year of his contract as of the 1st of July. So if Tottenham do want to get any money for him, Bayern Munich would be the best option, especially not selling to someone else in the Premier League, a Premier League rival. But whether Harry Kane will actually want to go to Bayern, uh, he's got you know three young children, fourth on the way, does he want to uproot his his whole entire family to a, to the Bundesliga? Of course, we know he really wants to get um, the top goal scorer uh, of all time in the Premier League. He wants to take that off Alan Shearer. So is that something that he wants to do? Um, the only thing is, I guess you're closer to potentially winning a, a Champions League at Bayern. But again, it's not guaranteed. Um, it's not guaranteed. So we'll see. It's going to be a very long summer when it comes to Kane. As usual, the Kane saga goes on for the whole duration of the summer. Uh, turning our attention to Manchester United uh, and Chelsea, they're both interested in Aston Villa's goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez, uh, 30 years old. Of course, we know he uh, obviously won the World Cup. Uh, De Gea's contract expires uh, on the 1st. So United are in talks currently with Onana. Uh, he's a goalkeeper uh, for Inter Milan. Um, will De Gea leave or will he Resign because there were talks that, of course, there was a contract on the table, and Manchester United pulled out of that contract despite the fact that De Gea was ready to sign it. Should he leave United fans? Let us know. We know he's been a law servant to the club, but he has come into question on quite a few occasions, um, you know, no more so than, than last season as well. Could it be time, 32 years old, to, to kind of let that one go and start afresh with Anana or uh, Martinez? But that'll be hard to get him away from Aston Villa, absolutely. Um, they are also um, blocking a move for Tom Heaton. Uh, he was interested in moving to Luton Town. He's 37 years old now, Tom Heaton. Um, there's continued uncertainty, obviously, what's going on with David De Gea. So until that is resolved, uh, they will not give up Tom Heaton. Heaton and allow him to make that move to Luton. Uh, Aston Villa, they have agreed a £35 million deal to sign uh, Spanish defender Pau Torres, 26 years old from Villarreal. Um, of course, that's someone who has played with Unai Emery before. It's a great signing for Aston Villa. He's been linked with a whole host of uh, Premier League clubs over the last season or so. Um, and that's a really great steal from them and, and, and pretty good bargain as well at £35 million for a very experienced uh, and decent defender. And Urien Timber, 22 years old, he is set to undergo a medical at Arsenal. They've agreed initial fee of 42 million euros. That's around 36.2 million pounds with Ajax. Uh, this has been spoken about all week. Uh, it's a brilliant signing for, for Arsenal if they can get this over the line, which it, it looks to be done. Uh, it really gives them that extra depth uh, at the back, something they struggled with last year when, when Saliba was out injured. Um, and I think it's perfect for, for what they're trying to build and what they're trying to do. Another young player, uh, but does have experience as well as being in the Champions League as well with Ajax. So that deal is just waiting to be done. And that was reported uh, by the, the Telegraph in Holland. And uh, last but not least, West Ham, they're still waiting for Arsenal to present an acceptable payment plan for Declan Rice, the £105 million pound purchase um, which is going to be the most Arsenal have ever spent on a player and uh, the most expensive one in the Premier League as well for an English player that was reported uh, by the Sun this is all but done everyone is being said there's nothing that can necessarily go wrong here it's all just about getting the payment plan uh, and the structure in place and then very soon we should see uh, Declan Rice as a new Arsenal player I know Arsenal fans are going to be extremely excited about that um, it's an absolute great signing the business that Arsenal are doing uh, has been exceptional so far um, of course they've also bought in Kai Havertz for around £65 million so they're really looking to bolster that uh, that squad ahead of the Champions League next season and to, to push City all the way and try and do that once again so that is your morning roundup that's all the transfer news and gossip for the morning let us know what you think who do you want to sign? Let us know your team. United fans, De Gea out. Is that the right move? Chelsea, are you happy with Caicedo? And what do you do about Lukaku? And Tottenham fans, what on earth do we do about Eric Dyer? See you later.